On today's show, One Life to Live's Cassie DePaiva reveals why it took her 19 years to earn her very first Emmy nomination. One Life to Live's Cassie DePaiva tells why she was thrilled to be awakened by a screaming fan. Our first guest has been the resident bad girl in Landview for nearly 12 years. But lately, she's found herself in an entirely different kind of trouble. Take a look. I did not go through hell to find you just to leave you here. No, look out you like it's not God. No, I'm not leaving here without you. No, we've got to do something. Put somebody up here to help you. Jeez, oh, there's no cell up here. Is there a phone here? No. Oh, I've got to get something. Please welcome from One Life to Live, first time Emmy nominee, Cassie DePaiva. Okay. Welcome, yes. So, this is the first time in the studio. Are you in pain? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. I had the flu okay. two weeks ago. I thought I'm not going to be able to go to California and to come do soap talk. I was laid with the flu, with fever and everything. Luckily, I don't have that. Oh, yeah. it was Luckily, awful. Says, I can't yeah. remember the last time I was sick like that. It was yeah. terrible. Awful. You needed to rest. Here's yeah. my uh, quick question before we talk about anything else. Were you actually able to put that fire out with a bucket of snow? Well, actually, it was plastic it's snow. Raging inferno of plastic snow. There, you know, it's crazy what we do for a living. You take it out of context and it's really crazy. But in the last month, I have been in a fire in the trunk of a car for six and a half weeks. Which everybody keeps asking me, and I've been talking, we were talking about that with Mimi Torch, and we were all talking, we were like, how does she go to the bathroom in the trunk of the car? Well, you know, thank goodness we don't do reality, otherwise we'd open the trunk and, whoo, don't go in there! Like, no. You know, I still had a little makeup on when I got out. Go, this, this week, um, it goes from bad to worse. Asa finds me. And I don't know if yeah. it's airing exactly right now, but I end up in a straitjacket. Really? Yeah. Are you claustrophobic? After living in the trunk of a car for six weeks, <laughs> you can't live anywhere. Exactly. So, you know, it's, it's fine, but it fine. just goes from bad to worse. Well, congratulations on your Emmy nomination. Yes, long overdue. It was so, so, so long overdue. I think everybody in daytime knows that it was long overdue. Well, it's funny. I was at, happened to be down in Nashville um, doing a radio convention for my CD or whatever, and my fan club, I didn't really know what was going on, and the time change is different from New York, and my cell phone rings, and it's, rah, 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 and I said, what? Rah, 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 nomination, rah, rah, rah. and she goes, did you got an Emmy nomination? I got up, and I didn't, and I was like, oh, what? I couldn't get the television on. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then the phone calls came in, yeah. and it was so nice. People were genuinely as excited as if they had gotten the nominations. Yeah, well, I think that's the best part, and I think it's better than even winning. Well, yeah. it's just the lovely. Love that you get er from Erica Slazak called me immediately, and I told Who's her. Also nominated this year. Yes, yeah. and I said, you know what? I'm giving you all the credit because my scenes were with her, and it was when I Blair hits rock bottom right after she had decided, you know, after she had her brain tumor, <laughs> and uh, um, and accused her husband of rape. Um, but they were down in the crypt, and it was real. My stuff was real sobby type of stuff, but I always think that everybody judges, oh, that Erica Slavesack is so good. We'll give her a one, and that girl that she's working with, we'll give her a two. <laughs> but anyway, I'll come tell all. all those people from One Life to Live. They're all fantastic. You know when... No question, no question. You, like I said, long overdue. You know when I thought you really, really, really deserved the nomination? Back when you used to play Blair as an Asian girl. That <laughs> was when you really deserved it. Well, the... Um, the recast was special, and I'm just glad 12 years ago it happened, and I That's, got the opportunity. And how's JQ doing? Yeah, how's JQ? My little boy is just so, so great, and uh, you're a daddy. I am is a daddy. It, is, have it's, you ever uh, you know, experienced anything like it? Not even a little bit. I mean, I heard both, I've heard Lisa talk about it for the last three years, and I've and heard you, you talk girls, about it. Right? I think and, I saw your, one of your... They're beautiful. Uh, beautiful. No idea. No idea. Now, JQ is almost eight now? Almost eight, and it, I just can't believe it. You yeah. know, it's... Uh, um, there he is! He is just, uh, um, he's an angel boy, and he's a happy child, and uh, my son was born deaf, and at 18 months, he had a cochlear implant, and so many people, which I'm really grateful for, check on my website, that have situations with children with hearing loss, but my son 
is pretty much, I consider the poster child for this implant. It's a miraculous surgery, and he hears beautifully, and his speech is great, and he's in a mainstream school, and um, God bless him. Babe. Yeah. And y'all are so nice to always ask about my son, and he's just doing great. Tell us, um, we're going to go to break, but before that, tell us about Happy Hats, please. Well, Happy Hats, if you go on my website, I, my mom taught me to crochet at Thanksgiving, so I thought, okay, well, I'll start doing this. So by Christmas, I had made, like, five hats, and I thought, well, this would be great to give to my family. Well, these are my hats. Oh, that's cute. Um, oh, I, took them, I took them into One Life to Live and showed them to Susan Gammy, our costume designer. She goes, well, you have to make these and sell these. But all the, they, I sell them on my website. On Monday of last week, they went up on my website. I had 67 hats. On Tuesday, I had 35 left. I don't even know what I have. Wow. But all the proceeds go to the League for the Heart of Hearing. All the proceeds leave yeah. a part of hearing. For, that's the, the place where JQ got all of his uh, um, speech, uh, speech and language stuff. You do a lot to give back. I know you're on your way to a charity golf tournament yes. now as well. I didn't know you were that good of a golfer. Well, I, you know, I, I, I would be better if I didn't have a day job. <laughs> but I got to work. Well, we're glad you have a day job. We're going to take a quick break. All right. We'll be right back with Cassie Capai. This will go away. Coming up next, Cassie performs a song from her latest album.